For my next actions demo, I'm going to show you how you can load actions. But before I show you how to load actions, I'm going to go through how to save actions. So if you go here, we can open up that again. Now it's tricky. If you're highlighting the actual action, you go to this little bar here. You can see here that you have load actions, replace actions, and save actions. In this area here, the main things I use are load actions and save actions. But you can see that the save actions is grayed out. But if I highlight the folder that the action is inside of, if I go here, you can see then now I can go and save the action. I'm just going to minimize this for a minute. So this is my graveyard batch folder here. You can see I've made a load actions demo folder here. So if I click on this. So here's the actions that I made and recorded and saved. And then I can now load inside of this Photoshop. And here's a couple images I'm going to try it over top of. So I'm going to open this one here. And go up here to the actions, load actions. Locate the actions you want to load and open those. And then here they come in, Retro Style 1, Retro Style 2. I'm going to play the Retro Style over this one. And there you have it. I play the action over top of this photo. So you can see that inside of these actions, I did not record the flattening, saving, and closing like I did for the batching of them. So if I open this up, you can see everything I've recorded here. And nowhere have I recorded flattening and whatnot. So now I've opened up my next image. I'm going to select Retro Style 2 and play that. And there's the Retro Style 2 recorded. So Actions will record adjustment layers, layer styles, and filters. It won't record anything you've done with a mask or erasing. And there you have it. Loading and playing actions. And then if you don't flatten and save them, you can make adjustments to those actions.